Tears at Mickey Mouse there. Oh. There's also a Disney right. one over there. Oh no, he missed out. One dollar? One dollar. Card set. That's pretty sweet, though. Look at that. Yeah, it is. It's a Game Boy watch. Pretty good. Pretty cool. That's pretty sweet. Pretty cool. What's in here? Bugs Bunny watch. Tell you want an iPod for five bucks? Mm -hmm. There's a Washington Redskins. It's a complete series. What is it? You're leaving? To another exciting installment of Wrestling Rampage, the two amigos are back in this bitch. That's right, we are back and there is a shit ton of shit to show you guys. We went yard selling. Yeah, we did. And it's peak yard sale season, Tommy. And, uh, you know, it was a little weird because of just how much we found. Yeah. Uh, there are some decent stuff and then there's some crappy stuff on top of it. But, nonetheless, we're going to show you guys everything we picked up. The first thing we're going to show you is this PS3 bundle. Now, in the footage, you've seen that there was a yard sale locally in our town. We went to it, and uh, in one of the photos you've seen on a shelf, there was a PS3 with a shit ton of games. Mm -hmm. Now, I couldn't make out some of the games, some of the games I could, um, but come to find out, I got this on a decent deal, not a great deal. Yeah. I wish I got it for cheaper, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, at first, I thought this PS3 was one of the uh, backwards compatible ones. It's not, but it's it's a decent one. What this is, and it's a heavy motherfucker. Oh, this is one of the original PS3s. And it's, uh, this is a 80 gigabyte PS3. And, um... It comes with all of its cords, uh, which is right here. Which is right there. It comes with the HDMI, uh, the power cord, all that good stuff. It comes with the Move controller too. Yeah, we're gonna get into that in a second, but uh, uh, and it comes with, and it comes with two controllers as well. We got a white one and a uh, and a camo, and I think it comes with the the charger cables as well for the controllers, if I'm not mistaken, or at least one of them does. But nonetheless, uh, there is a price tag on it of a hundred dollars. It says it right there. God, this damn thing's heavy. It says a hundred 
or 130 with the games. W games. Yeah, W games. Now, I decided, I was like, you know, PS3s aren't terribly a, much of mo uh, a lot of money, but they can be. So I decided to, and this is uh, the, how you find out if it's one of the, the ones that are, uh, it has four ports instead of two. Yeah. If you see this exact model and it has four ports instead of two, that's the backwards compatible one. You can still play PS1 games on here, but you can't play PS2. And um, so I picked that up for $130 because I was wanting to get all the games. Um, uh, a PS3 80 gigabyte system with cords and one controller. All these are according to PriceCharting.com. Uh, $90 is how much the PS3 would be worth with the controller. Now, I have extra black controllers I can bundle with this. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to keep those controllers over there. <clears throat> Tommy, show that white one off real fast. That is a white DualShock uh, 3 controller. A little dirty, as you can tell. <laughs> it's a little dirty. Uh, but uh, I, I, I actually clean a lot of the controllers with like alcohol and stuff. I can get it looking good. Uh, this is a $30 controller, believe it or not. So, I'm going to keep this controller and trade it trade it in with one of the black ones to put with the system. And then we got that camo one right there. Uh, that's also dirty. <laughs> As you can tell. See mm -hmm. all that crud in there, like right yeah. there and stuff? i got to clean these controllers really good. But that's a $25 uh, uh, controller as well. And uh, got that in the bundle. That's a $25 controller. I'm going to keep that too. The buttons seem okay. It's just it's just we got we got to clean them really good. And then we also have inside the bag. I'll grab that move controller out of there, Jay. And then we got a move controller. These are worth twenty five dollars. So if you find these these move controllers, the PlayStation move controllers out in the wild, pick them up. Especially if you can get them for a few dollars, right? Yeah. So um, uh, Sony move controllers now. Uh, I haven't tested the move controller, but uh, I'm, uh, these usually work. But that's the, that's also a twenty-five dollar bill. Now we got this. We got the games. Now some are great, some aren't. It is what it is. But I, I was figured. I was like, if I'm gonna pay a hundred dollars for the system, I might as well pay the extra thirty and get all the games yeah. with it. Fuck it, right? So I just did, and. Uh, like, at the end of the day, I'm going to sell the PlayStation 3 with some games, with a black controller. I'm going to keep the white controller, I'm going to keep the camo, I'm going to keep the move, and I'm going to keep about four or five of these games over here. Now, and I could make around my money back, right? So, uh, I'll be able to keep some controllers and some games for free, instead of paying money. So, uh, we got... Uh, and by the way, he has these, he has these marked for ten dollars a piece. Nobody's gonna pay ten dollars for these fucking common fucking PS3 no. titles, bro. This, and by the way, I tried to get it for cheaper, and the guy wouldn't even budge. He would he wouldn't even budge all, off the price. I was like, can I do a hundred for everything? He goes no. Douchebag. <laughs> but anyway, uh, did you ask one twenty? Uh, he he wouldn't. He would he. He, he he wouldn't budge off any of it. Uh, he goes, no, 130 is, is the lowest I can do. It's bastard. Uh, and plus, the guy the guy said he was he was moving. I'd rather have a hundred dollars than than carry than lug around a PS3 with a bunch of games if I don't want the goddamn thing. Mm -hmm. But anyway, uh, and, and and nobody's gonna pay ten dollars for these PS3 games. We got uh, Call of Duty Ghosts. This is like a $5 game according to price charting. It is complete, but uh, it's not a great game. $5. $5. Actually, 10 if you go to Old yeah. Buddy. Yeah, 10 if you go to Old Buddy to get it. Fuck you, dude. Anyway. Uh, then we have Dragon's Dogma made by Capcom. This actually seems really interesting. I might, I might pop this in and play it. Um, apparently, they got it at GameStop, it looks like. Uh, it's not complete, but uh, it does come with the case and everything. Uh, so it's also a $5 game, but this actually does sound somewhat interesting. Then we have Dungeon Siege 3 by Square Enix for the PS3. $10. $10. Uh, 
ten dollars as well. And uh, it's complete. It's not worth ten dollars like old buddy says it is. Uh, this game is actually six bucks. Then we have only on PlayStation Resistance Two. No manual. Resistance Two is an eight dollar game. Then we got Legend. Uh, sorry. Guitar Hero 3 Legends of Rock. And this is a $9 game complete, according to price charting. Then we have the Elder Scroll 4 Oblivion. Uh, I might keep this, I don't know. I, I Actually, I might have this already in my collection. I have no idea. Uh, I kind of have to catalog my games. This is a $10 game. So this actually is worth $10 if somebody would want it. And it is complete. And... and all the games are actually in good condition. They're not scratched or anything. Uh, but next one is Dark Kingdom. Or, yeah, Dark Kingdom. Uh, this one is nine dollars complete. We got uh, th these two. I'm keeping because these actually sound somewhat interesting. Uh, Fallen Angel Sacred Two. Complete. Ten dollar game. So we'll keep that. And then we have for the PS3 Diablo 3. And this is worth um, seven. Complete. The, the Diablo games are somewhat fun. So I'm, I'm going to keep that. Uh, that one I'm going to show last because if for some odd reason it's worth a ton. I don't know why. Then we have Dragon Age 2. Worth eight bucks complete. Dragon Age Oranges. Orin oranges. 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 Origins. Origins. Excuse me, I can't speak. Complete. Uh, $7. Then we have Resistance Fall of Man, the first Resistance. I'm missing the manual on that one. This one's a little rough, but uh, this one is worth uh, $6. Then we have Borderlands, the Game of the Year edition. No manual. It is worth, uh, I think it's five, if I'm not mistaken. Six. Excuse me, six. And then I'm also going to keep these games here, but there's a double of them. Uh, it is Kingdom Hearts HD Remix 1.5. These are missing. Well, no, it, did, it does go with the manual. I didn't, I didn't know that. I thought it didn't because it seemed a little light. Uh, it's worth. Six bucks, but uh, these are actually somewhat decent. And then, uh, for some odd reason, there's two of the Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5. So I get to keep one and get rid of one. Both of them are missing manuals, but uh, they are seven dollars a piece, so it's like, so it's like 14 bucks. And then, Tommy, the one game you would think would be worthless is mm -hmm. the one that that's the most yeah if you guys find it out on the ps3 it's actually worth something <clears throat> it is for the ps3 it is and it says only on playstation dance dance revolution made by konami believe it or not guys a 32 dollar game complete Why? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. I don't know. But it is. It's a $32 game according to price charting. Woo! Um, that's everything for the PS3 bundle that we picked up. The first yard sale we went to. Um, everything in this bundle is worth $318. Um... I only spent 130. I wish I got it for maybe a hundred, but it is what it is. It came with a bunch of games. I will be able to keep some controllers. I'll be able to keep about four or five games, and I will sell the system with some games. Yeah. And I may I'll make roughly my money back, right? So, um, uh, I at least get to keep some games and some controllers for free, and pretty much sell the rest off. 
So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, let's go ahead and go with the next little bundle that we got, Tommy. I picked up two games. Mm -hmm. At a yard sale? At a yard sale. The first one, now they, I don't even have this system, so you know what I'm doing with them. Yeah. Tommy doesn't even own this system. Yeah, so you know what I'm doing with them. Xbox One, EA Sports, Madden 18. What do you think I'm going to do with it? Is it complete? Oh, it is complete, yeah. It's complete. And actually, the disc is in good shape. No. It's never been played, it looks like. You know what I'm doing with that. Uh, according to price charting, it's worth $4. $4. You got another one sitting there. What is, what is that? Xbox One, NBA 2K18 for the Xbox One. Also, according to price charting, $4. $4. Complete? It's complete. Pretty good condition. And the disc? Good shape. Who's on the cover there? Kyrie Urban. And uh, that's uh, Tom Brady. That's Tom Brady. Yep. Now, you got that from uh, some guy selling them. Uh, yeah. How, how much did you pay for them? Well, at first, he was going to do two bucks a piece. Yeah. That would have been $4. Yeah. I was like, well, goddamn, that's how much you're probably worth. Well, they're worth $4 a piece, but. But I was like, eh. Mm -hmm. So I was like, will you do a dollar each? He goes, yeah, sure. So I paid two dollars. Two bucks. What you gotta do with them? I'm trading them in. You gonna trade them in? Yeah, I know I'll get more than two dollars out of it. Maybe. I don't know. Sports, sports games aren't really worth a ton. Once again, I'm I'm a dumbass. I, I picked up some sports games too. Yeah, but which I'm gonna show you guys here in a few. But yeah, but they'll be token. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll probably get like a couple of dollars out of them. But that's mm -hmm. more than what I paid. I paid a dollar each. Yeah. So yeah. You picked up those, and uh, at that sale, he also had DVDs. Yeah, I some, picked some Disney. Yeah, I picked up a few Disney. These were two dollars a piece. Yeah, I have no problem paying a buck or two for DVDs. Oh, yeah, that's still cheap. Disney, The Muppet Christmas Carol. Like the Muppets? Yeah, I have no problem with the Muppets. And it's Disney, so you knew I'd pick it up. Nice. So, uh, it's worth four dollars. According to eBay, because we have to do the DVDs on eBay. Yeah. Because, so, and yeah. by the way, these are sold listings. This yeah, isn't so. what somebody fucking wants for them. Yep. So the Muppets Christmas Carol. And another. This is a two disc special edition. Walt Disney presents Brother Bear. Brother Bear. I've never seen. Uh, actually, take that back. I have seen that one. I haven't seen the other. One. And it's a two disc. There's one. There's two. Brother Bear. Pay two dollars for it. Two dollars. It's also it's it's worth four, but you know. Anytime there's Disney movies, I can get them for like a dollar or two. I'll buy. Them. And Walt Disney. I haven't seen that one. Brother Bear two. With a slip cover. With the slip cover, yeah. That well, looks pretty cool. Slip cover too. Yeah. So. And it is. It's complete. And this looks pretty cool. Yeah, this does look pretty cool, don't it? The moose is on the loose. Yeah, that's what it says. The moose is on the loose. It's like gypsies on the brain. On the brain. It's a Brother Bear 2. Also a $4 DVD, but he got it for $2. Yeah. And Disney presents the last the last DVD you got to, you got from yeah, that sale. The last DVD I got at that sale, Disney presents the Brave Little Toaster. Brave Little Toaster. And I've never seen that, but I heard good things about yeah, it. Yeah, I never seen it either, and, and it was two dollars, and it's a Disney movie, so I was like, you know what? You know me, I collect the Disney movies, but I try to get them for cheap. That DVD is worth five dollars. Five bucks, and I only paid two. And that's all you picked up at that one sale. Yeah. And uh, I went to a sale across the street. Which I didn't find anything. Which he didn't find anything there, but I didn't either. But there were a lot of good stuff at that sale, though. There was like, I seen like a like a Hot Wheel tracks. They had like these little 
Uh, did you see the the the, the uh, Looney Tunes posters yeah. and pictures and stuff? Those look cool. I was, was thinking cool. about buying some of them. It was cool. It's just I don't have no room for any. Yeah, of I was thinking about getting those, but again, I, my room is so big. I don't have no room for it. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have any. room They were to too put big. Them. They were cool. Now, they as were hell. small pictures, almost like little picture frame or whatever. But they were like big pictures. They were, yeah, uh, they were huge. I, I think I got a few clips of that of the of that sale, and then. I also seen some guy. She also had Xbox One games, but I think I think some guy was buying them, but they weren't anything good. It was like Call of Duty or whatever. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. um, well, you picked up. Uh, well, no, the, at that one sale. Oh yeah. Uh, but there was another guy, and uh, I was looking, I was looking at him closer, right? And he he actually he actually had a GoPro on him. Uh huh. I guess he was recording him garage sale yeah. or whatever, which is kind of what we were doing, but. I, I, I don't have anything to mount my camera or anything. Yeah. I just use my phone. But um, it was funny because the guy was digging through some toys the toys that that, that 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 was there, and he was showing on the on the GoPro. I was like, that guy's recording his garage sales or whatever. Mm -hmm. But anyway, um, then we went to another sale and uh, picked. Uh, I picked up uh, a few games, uh, and then Tommy picked up. Um, a DVD. Um, the games I picked up aren't anything great. They're sports games too, but I got them for a little, a little, a little bit of a decent deal. Oh, that's why I picked those up. Uh, I paid more than Tommy did. Yeah, uh, but uh, they're not really worth a ton. But uh, I did get them from that garage sale, and I'm going to trade them in. So uh, it is uh, for the Xbox One EA Sports Med 19, and. Uh, no manual. The disc is okay. These are actually in okay condition. They're not in great condition. But, um, Madden 19 is for $4. And then we got for the Xbox One, uh, NBA 2K19. Who the hell is that? Giannis Atacupo. Whatever you say, however you say his name, but there he is. And, uh, I know, because I, uh, I, 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 I love basketball. Yeah, I know you do. Uh, that's why I figured you know who that is. Yep, and, Giannis. Uh, it, is, it is complete. Up to Kupo. It is complete, and it does have the bonus content. Maybe, maybe it was used, though. But probably. Probably. Most likely. But uh, it is complete. Uh, it is there. It's also worth $4, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. And then there was this one sitting there, and I knew this one had, some, it's not much more value, but I know it's over $5. And it is uh, for the Xbox One as well, it's for, it's NBA 2K21. Yep, with Damian Lillard on the uh, This was last year's release. Yeah. Uh, I actually remember buying this for Tommy. Yep, and, for I, Christmas. and, I, and I still play it. And you said it's who? Damian Lillard. Damian Lillard on the cover. I don't, I, I don't know. You don't know nothing about basketball. I, I don't. Hey, some of the games are fun to play, but I just don't know anything about them. Uh, it is complete uh, with little bonus content, which might have been used, which probably was used. But it's all there, and uh, uh, I asked the lady how much she wanted at first. She kind of wanted like, I think she was wanting to like, like five dollars a piece or something. The way she was just staring at him, she just, she just looked at him like this for like. A full minute, and I was like, I mean, because you know, if I get them for like a dollar or something, I might pick them up, right? And she said, uh, Well, she looked at him and she goes, uh, For all three of them, would you do five dollars? I was like, Sure. She was nice, a yeah. nice lady. Uh, so uh, I picked all these up for five dollars, and I'm going to trade them in. Because I actually have a big trade-in pile that I have. Yeah, I'm doing... I am too. <laughs> yeah, uh, of just stuff I'm going to trade into some video game stores just to get some, a little extra credit. And, uh, oh, and I forgot to tell you, uh, NBA 2K21, $6, according to PriceSharing.com. Uh, I paid 5 uh, for these three games. They're worth, like, $14, 15 bucks, uh, total. So it wasn't a bad deal, but uh, I wish I probably would have countered with, like, but it is what it is. She was nice. And Tommy, you found a DVD just sitting there. Yeah. And I was like, hmm. a random DVD just sitting there. Random. And you know, Joe. Because, because literally, there was just a bunch of random DVDs on top of it. That was actually at the bottom. Because yeah. Because you pulled it out and then. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. The DVD started to fucking tell I was like, oh shit. 
I was like, damn, I, was like, I don't want these trash DVDs. <laughs> I don't want these trash DVDs. I, just I want, want this. Of course, the good one's down at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, the good one's at the bottom. What'd you find? Well, you know, we never usually find these out in the wild very much. Not, not usually, no. TNA Wrestling presents the the instant classic, the greatest wrestler in the universe. That's what it says, yeah. Christian Cage. The instant classic. Um, this is a DVD of kind of like Christian's greatest matches yeah. of TNA. Uh, me and Tommy actually already own this DVD. Yeah, I already own this DVD. But I could not leave it behind, and it was in great shape. It's in really great condition, actually. As you can tell, there's not nothing on that motherfucker. It's actually, it looks brand new. It really does. And uh, Tommy goes, uh, you know, I might buy it depending and, on the price. Yeah, and Joe goes, don't you have that DVD? I'm like, yeah. And yeah. I go, do you have it? He goes, yeah. Because, of course, we're going to buy for our collections first. Yeah. First and foremost. But he goes, what are you going to do with it? I was like, I'll fucking sell it or... Yeah, or trade it to somebody. Yeah. Uh, for this reason, we don't come across a lot of TNA DVDs. Not out, here in the wild. No, not out in the wild we don't. Uh, we, so that's why anytime I see a TNA DVD, when I, it, even if it's at a Goodwill, Pedler's Mall... Way, by the way, we should say that some TVD, some uh, actually TNA DVDs have some, some value to yeah. them. Certain ones do. Yeah. And by the way, this one does have some somewhat of a little value to it. It's a twelve dollar DVD. Yeah. According to uh, according to eBay. Yeah, this uh, is a twelve dollar DVD. And by the way, these are sold listings. These, these aren't like just what somebody would randomly yeah. want for this. This is actually a twelve dollar DVD. Believe yeah. it or not, on eBay. And uh, you know, sometimes you might find them for you know ten. Maybe sometimes you might find them for fifteen. But the average is around twelve for it. Tommy, how much did you pay for Christian Cage well, as a classic? You know, I was like. I was looking at it, I was like, well, I do have it. And I go, do you want it? He goes, no, I don't want it. I already got it. I yeah, like, yeah, I well, got so it. do I, but I was like, I'm not leaving it behind. If you can get it for the right price. If I can get it for the right price. And it was a very old lady. Yeah, she was nice. She was nice. I go, uh, how much for the uh, for the DVD? She goes, uh, she looks at it goes, how's a dollar? Sure. Right up my alley. <laughs> right up my alley. <laughs> you probably, oh, you yeah. go, you go. If I knew it was a dollar, I would have got it first. <laughs> and that's what you said. Yeah, yeah. But I saw it first. But you saw it first. Um, <laughs> and Joe goes, if I knew that was there and she was going to ask a dollar for it, I would have got it. Uh, Tommy, <laughs> that stack right there that you got at that one yard sale uh, is worth, well, my, minus the Christian Cage. Yeah, minus this, the Christian Cage. This set is worth $25. You paid 10 10 Not too bad. Not bad. And then... Uh, I bought these three Xbox One games, and Tommy got that uh, got that Christian Cage DVD. Uh, according to price charting and eBay, twenty six dollars. We paid six. Yeah. So, pretty good price. Now let's go with the last stuff that we bought. We bought a lot of stuff at the, at the yeah. garage selling this time. There was there, like there may not be a lot of bangers, bangers, but there's a lot of stuff. Yeah. Uh, so. Let's go with the last little bit of what we picked up, yard selling. As we're back with the last little bit, guys, we actually have a big old tote over there full of shit. Yeah. Literally, I bought. You guys seen the fo the, uh, the the footage? Uh, I we went to this one yard sale, and uh, over to the side there was a, near the garage there was a big blue tote, and on it it says "We and Xbox Games." And there was no that. Xbox. Game. There was no Xbox anything in it, but. Uh, there was a bunch of Wii stuff, and I noticed a few things, and I was like, hmm. Uh, I, uh, and uh, I asked the lady that was there what she wanted for everything, and she she asked her husband. I guess her husband was there. And he gave me the price of everything, but I'll tell you the price here in a minute. Tommy, this was a fantastic deal for us. Yes, it was. Now, granted, it's Wii stuff. It's not... Extremely, extremely valuable, but you find some good stuff on yeah. me sometimes. And this was a mega score. What we find there, Tommy? Well, we found a wee box. It's a wee box. Now, it is uh, the only thing that's missing is the inserts. Like, um, you know how they have the little door things on it. If you bought a like an original Wii, it don't have the door things on it, but it does have the manuals are inside. And the stand is inside. And this box is actually in really good condition. I might keep this box because this box might be in better condition than my, yeah. than my Wii box. 
But, uh, cool, it's actually yeah. in box. Uh, so we got a Wii in box with the stand. And we have the actual Wii itself. Now the door's broken, but I most of the time I find these broken anyway. This door isn't broken. And it is a backwards compatible Wii, so you can play GameCube games on it. Uh, and I already tested this and it works. <laughs> uh, so, um, that's cool. Uh, and, uh, we have the cords with it. Uh, we have the, uh, by the way, I, I did this in the bag. The shit that was all, it was all thrown in there and everything. I had to, I had to organize everything. <laughs> but we have, uh, we have the sensor bar. We have the AV cable, we have the power cord, and we also have a Wii charger yeah. with the backs to it. So if you want to, ch uh, if you want to charge uh, uh, your Wii remotes with uh, a battery pack, and by the way, battery packs like the the re the Wii remote chargers, they're worth like ten bucks. Yeah. So. And also we got. The controllers and the nunchucks, and we also got a microphone. Yeah, there's a microphone for a game in there. Uh, it, the, the the microphone's not worth a ton yeah. with the game, but it is what it is. And yeah, there's three V remotes in here, yeah. and three nunchucks. Yeah. So one of the bat one of the remotes is corroded with batteries. I'll have to clean that, but everything else is actually pretty clean. Now, what we should say here is. A complete Wii in the box with the manual, with a Wii box with the manual, with the cords, the system, a controller, a nunchuck. In the box is worth seventy-five dollars, right? That's according to price chart. Then you add the battery pack charger for ten. Then you add two nunchucks. Two nunchucks are. According to price charting, they are eight dollars a piece. So there's two of them because you got to use one of them for the Wii bundle. That's going to be sixteen dollars. Then we got two extra Wii remotes. They're fourteen dollars a piece. That's twenty-eight dollars because there's two of them. Then in this box as well was um, that little white thing sitting there, Tommy. Yeah, that. This is the Wii Zapper. And that's worth $10, believe it or not. No box for it, though, but it's the Wii Zapper. Uh, you can use this for a lot of things. I, I think you use it for a Zelda game. You can use it for a, a Lynx crossbow training um, as well. So uh, that's pretty cool because I don't have a Zapper. So I might keep this. Maybe. Uh, that's worth $10. And then Tommy... There was a Wii Wheel there in the box. Mario Kart. Wii. Mm -hmm. Now I should say, no Mario Kart. No. But, cool to find the Wii Wheel in there. Yeah. And by the way, there was two Wii Wheels. And we'll discuss this in a second. But, uh, open it up. Still in the box. All the cords. Very clean. Just missing Mario Kart, which I actually have an extra Mario Kart. <laughs> but you uh, put it in there. Yeah, I can I actually put it in there because that's where you fit the game. Yeah. Uh, now, once again, this cell was the last cell. Was this the last cell we went to? I think so. Yeah. I think it was the last cell we went to, and it was a rich neighborhood. There's a lot of high price yeah. stuff in there. Like, I mean, just like high price uh, houses and stuff, right? So I was like, hmm, and. Uh, well, I bought the entire tote because the the guy the guy uh, the, the the guy shot the shot the price to me. I was like, yeah, sure, why not? So I paid him, right? And as I was walking with the blue tote to the car to put it in the trunk. Oh, by the way, I should say that uh, this Wii wheel in Mario Kart is like twenty five dollars. Too much money. But anyway, <laughs> too much money for cardboard. But while while I was walking to put the blue tote into the car, into the trunk, here comes this guy in like a truck, right? And he goes, hey. So yeah. 
He goes, hey, is there a wee wheel in there? Yeah. He goes, hey, uh, would you sell me that wee wheel for three dollars? Okay. <laughs> now, there was two wee wheels. One's in the box and the other one's loose. Yeah, I know the one in the box you weren't going to sell. Yeah, so I I gave the wee wheel to the guy through the car. I made a sale at a yard sale. <laughs> That's funny. But I actually made a sale at a yard sale. Uh, I grabbed the wee wheel, the loose one, and I had it because they're only worth like 8 to $10, right? But I know if you bundle them with like Mario Kart, you could get a lot more money for them like on Amazon or something. I'm thinking this guy. By the way, he did pay me the three dollars. <laughs> uh, he gave me three dollars, and I said thank you. He said yeah, thank you. And uh, what I'm thinking is this guy went to this sale, and I believe he found Mario Kart, and I think he found more uh, Wii Sports because they weren't here. Usually, every bundle I find is either Mario Kart or Wii Sports or Wii Sports Resort. Luckily, that one was there, but. <laughs> Uh, I'm thinking he went by and he, and, uh, maybe he was going to resell Mario Kart for, with, with the Wii Wheel. And I'm thinking maybe he seen that I picked up the bundle and he goes, ah, I'll just pay him $3 for the Wii Wheel. I didn't care because I, I didn't pay that much for this Wii bundle. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I made a sale at a garage sale uh, of stuff I just bought. That's a, that's a first. Yeah, it is. <laughs> that doesn't happen to me. Uh, next, Tommy, is those things right there, which, uh, if you guys don't know what these are, these are Wii Motion Plus adapters for the Wii. Now, what these are, is these are the skins, and there's a little, like, little adapter thing that you plug up at the bottom of a regular Wii remote, not the ones that are Wii Motion Plus built in. These actually make your 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 regular Wii remotes Wii Motion Plus. It's supposed to make them better and stuff. But anyway, these, they're in box. These are still in the box. By the way, still. Now I can't say that they're brand new because they've probably well, been used. Yeah, but they're still in the box. But they're actually still in the box, guys. Uh, and by the way, yeah, you know, there, there's a little adapter, and it comes with all the paperwork and everything. These are, like, awesome. But, uh, believe it or not, these, in open box form, these are worth, like, $15 a piece. Damn. That's $30 for these two, according to price charting. That's a pretty good deal. Uh, so I got those. And then we got the games! Some of Tommy's favorite games. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and show Tommy's favorite games. We got your classic Tommy. We oh, oh <laughs> yeah. You see this in all the Goodwills. <laughs> we Fit. You knew there. You know every Goodwill bundle will have We Fit. We always have to have We Fit. Oh yeah. Look at it. There it is, baby. Don't Complete. choose this bitch on goddamn on that goddamn uh, <laughs> We Fit trainer. Yeah. On don't Super Smash. Yeah. Don't choose that bitch on there. Um. How much is We Fit? Four dollars. Four dollars. Four dollars for this bitch. Yeah, four dollars. But if you if you don't want we fit, you can always. Oh get... yeah. <laughs> you could go even better. We you can get we fit plus. We fit plus. Um, that one's worth five. One dollar extra. One dollar a little extra. Uh, but you know it is what it is. Uh, I figured. You, you know what he's gonna do with these? He's gonna bundle these. I'm going to bundle them or I'm just going to trade them in. I mean, I know I ain't going to get dog shit out of them anyway, but it is what it is. Look at that ugly bitch. <laughs> Look at that ugly bitch. She's doing yoga on the, on the shitty Wii Fit board, darling. Yeah. Uh, but uh, nonetheless, and then we got this one, which is actually a decent game for the for the Wii. It's not worth anything, but... It is a cool game. It's a, good, it's a cool game. Uh, Wii Play. It's not worth anything, though. But it is complete. So that's always something. Uh, it's only worth six. Wait, is it worth six? Yeah, it's worth six dollars. But it's cool though. Uh, what I like on it is it has a uh, pool on it. It has like uh, like skeet yeah. shooting and stuff on yeah, it. Yeah, is there hockey? And it ha uh, is that air hockey or table tennis? Uh, it's table tennis. Yeah. But uh, it's cool. It's it's a 
it's a cool game. It's not, I mean, it's not worth anything. It's only worth like $6, but nice, cool. nice game, though. Uh, that's worth 6 Then we have uh, a classic for you, Tommy. For the Wii, Smarty Pants. Uh, trivia fun for everyone! Is that a key? No. <laughs> Uh, it is a five. Is it five? Yeah, five dollar game, and I th and I think the disc just came loose. Yes, it did. Um, oh, 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 oh! The thing is broken. That's why. But anyway, uh, it is complete, even though the case is broken. Uh, like, okay, guess. okay, Tommy. Aaron buzzed in with this one. Which has the shortest tail? Is it a lion? The fuck is that other one? Tortoise? I can't tell what the fuck that is. What the fuck is that damn thing? Right there. The second picture. What is that? <laughs> I can't even tell either. Dude, these Wii games are the shits. <laughs> what the fuck is that? I can't tell what it is. What the fuck is that? Some kind of animal. Uh, then we got a, 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 what is that, a bobcat or a leopard, and then we got a squirrel. <laughs> this is the shits. <laughs> we actually got to play it one of these days just to, just to see how shitty it is. Uh, but it's only worth five. Then we got Tommy, a classic. I can't Sh tell what that fucking animal is. Just Fuck that animal. dance! Just dance for the Wii. I actually already own this game, uh, so it's cool. Um, uh... Uh, one of, one of, oh, Baja Man Who Let the Dogs Out. Uh, our friend Austin loves uh, loves Baja Man. Oh, he sure uh, does. Who Let the Dogs Out. Shout out to Austin. Hope he's doing well. Uh, uh, can't Touch This. Uh, hot and You're Cold. Uh, Katy Perry. Katy Perry's hot, by the way. Oh, oh you I Get me. Around. The Beach oh, Boys. Oh, here we go. We got you Can't Touch This MC Hammer, baby. Mm -hmm. Groove is in the heart. D liked. I don't know who that is. Me neither. There's Who Let the Dogs Out, Baby, Baja Baja Man. Lee Freak, Cheek. That's what it says, Cheek. Yeah. Or is it Chick? Chick, Cheek, whatever. I like to move it, real to real. I get around the Beach Boys. Ring my bell by uh, Anita Ward. Yeah. Louie Louie, Iggy Pop. Pump, Pump up, up the, the jam. jam. Girls and boys. Da -da 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 -da. By Blur. Jerk It Out. Oh, oh we got Jerk It Out by Little Caesars. Fame in the style of Aaron Kira? Kira? I don't know. The Trash Men, Surfing Bird. Some of those, I don't even know what the hell those. Some Casey those. and the Sunshine Band. That's the way I like it. Heart of Glass by Blondie. Kids in America, Kim Wilde. Lump by the Presidents of the United States of America. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that's what it says. Fun Plex by the B fifty twos and many more. Many, many more. There you go. Five dollars. Five dollar game. Then we got the one that came with the microphone. It's Boogie Superstar. Oh, let me read the songs in that one. Uh well see this is the thing is like a lot of them aren't like uh they don't have uh like the, the actual uh uh, people that sing it. We got Angel, Hot and Cold, Don't Stop the Music, When You Look Me in the Eyes, Toxic, you know who that is. Yeah. Stronger, No One, He Said, She Said, Glamorous, Girlfriend, Make Me Wonder, Potential Breakup Song, Bleeding Love, Take You There, Every Time We Touch and Plush More. <laughs> and plus more, more. That one actually comes with the microphone. Uh, and it, and it, once again, it's only worth five dollars. Yeah, I ain't shit. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's it's not that great. Uh, then we have this one. I'm actually keeping this one. Yeah. For, for the collection, uh, just because it is a game show. It's not a great game show, but it's a game show. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Back to school. And it is complete with Jack with Jeff Foxworthy. Um, it, it it's only it's only five dollars, but. I'm keeping it for the collection because it is a it game is a, show. it is a game show and I like my game show games. You can make fun of me, I don't I don't care. Uh, then we have some games that I'm keeping for my son because he's gonna actually actually 
he was over when we went yard sale. We actually played, uh, well, me and him played it. Yeah, he knows me playing it. Well, you might have to mm-hmm. soon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I almost dropped it. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to it. Rayman Raving Rabbids won for the Wii. Um, it is complete. It's like a $5 game. And then you also got Let's see Ray- how shitty this one is. <laughs> and then you got Rayman Raving Rabbids 2. Well, this looks just as shitty as the other one does. <laughs> yeah. And then we got number two, Tommy. And it's complete as well. It's also $5. But I'm keeping those for my son. He's good. He 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 likes Looks those. Looks just shitty as the other one. Yeah, I know, I know. Then we have Link's crossbow training. That's kind of ripped up. Uh, it is it is complete uh, with manual and everything, and uh, it's only worth five dollars too. But five dollars, five dollars. Then um hmm. then this was weird to see that in the, in this. It's a Netflix instant streaming disc for the Wii. And it's in there. <laughs> Wonder what you do with that. <clears throat> well, apparently what you did was uh, to watch uh, to watch uh, Netflix on your Wii, you had to get this disc and uh, pay for the service and you could watch Netflix on your Wii. Oh, you got to pay for it? Oh, well, yeah. I thought the disc would make you free, motherfucker. No. Um... I think I don't know. I never, I never really watched Netflix on the Wii, but you know what? I'm going to keep this for the collection because I think it's odd. Yeah, it <laughs> so, is odd. And by the way, it's worth eight dollars. I don't know why, but it yeah, is. That is pretty fucking odd. I'm keeping it just for the oddity factor because it's, it, it's, it's a little weird. Um, that is pretty weird. Then we have this, which I already have, but once again, a decent game on the Wii. Game Party Three has like whack a mole on it. Uh, uh, mini golf and things like that so this is also worth eight dollars is that a keeper no i already have it i remember i had this too i traded yeah. i i uh i fucking uh got rid of it for 200 i'm only keeping like three or four of the week yeah games. i sold this for 200 dollars. yes he did then tommy i don't know why this some is... girl tried to resell it back <laughs> I don't know why this is worth fifteen dollars, but it is. Just Dance Disney Party Two. Oh boy, Just Dance Disney Party Two. It's worth fifteen dollars, Tommy. Why? How the fuck is this worth fifteen? Why? Why and who the fuck are these J Bros? I don't even know who any of them are. No wonder Disney Channel sucks. Here, now. here, 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 here. I didn't do it. Austin and Allie. I don't know any of these fucking... Violetta. Don't know it. Teen Beach 2. Don't know. Liv and Maddie. Don't know. Girl Meets World. Don't I kinda, know. I, I kind of know that one because of Boy Meets World. I still don't know. I mean, I never, I never watched it, but... The Descendants. Don't know. KC. Don't know. Teen Beach. Don't know. And then Girl vs. Monster. I don't, don't know. I don't know any of these people. No man. If manual. I saw Hannah Montana, then I would know. Yeah, I don't. I don't know any of these songs. I don't know any of these motherfuckers. So I will be bundled and getting rid of that. Yeah, you know that's going in the that's going in the bundle pop. Then I seen this, which was kind of odd. I seen this right now. Sweet Sports Resort. Everybody knows what this is. It's worth a decent amount. It's pretty cool though. I open it up. It does have the manual. It has everything in here, right? Disc has some fingerprints on it. Yeah. But it ain't scratched up or nothing. I was like, okay, this is this is pretty cool to find. This is like a twenty-five dollar disc, right? I mean, a uh, twenty-five dollar game, right? Then I went to look at the bottom, and I found this. <laughs> the box. This is the big box, and what this has inside is because the only way you can play Wii Sports Resort is if you have Wii Motion Plus. It requires it. It actually has the little. Like, yeah. like rubber thing and the adapter. Oh, yeah. So if you want to make your, your Wii Remote uh, Wii Motion Plus. So you can play it. Yeah, so you can play it. And it's cool inside and everything. Uh, I can't get the game down there because one of the things is bent, but yeah. it's no big deal. But if you get the big box version of it, it's worth like $32. Yeah. I don't know why, but it is. I'm going to keep the big box version. I'm going to get rid of this. Well, my copy. Yeah. My single copy. You're keeping that. I'm going to keep the big box version. That's $32. Yeah. Then, 
the game is worth the most, and I have no idea why, once again, for the Wii, Guitar, Guitar Hero Smash Hits. Now, hold on here. It is complete. Now, before we start reading some of these, uh, these, uh... Songs? Because you want to read some of these. Oh, yeah. You? Before we get started with this. Uh... Everything in that Wii bundle that I bought is worth $344. Yeah. Now, I paid $40 for all this Wii stuff. Good deal. Yeah. Now, I'm going to bundle some of these games with the system. I'm going to sell the system. I might make maybe $100 on the system. So I'm going to double my money on it, right? Mm -hmm. This game, Tommy, is worth $37. Really? Yep. Damn. According to price charting, this game is worth $37. I don't know why, but it is. I paid $37 for the lot, because if you remember, I sold one of the Wii Wheels to yeah. Old Buddy for $3. This game paid for everything. Let me see the songs here. <laughs> I've got Aerosmith back in the saddle. Some of these get some of these I don't even know. AFI, Mass Miss Murder, Alice and Change Them Bones, Anthrax Caught in a Mosh, Arranged Sevenfold, oh. Beast in the Harlot, Blue Oyster Cult, Possibly Oyster like Park, that. Godzilla, Boston More Than a Feeling, Danzig Mother, Deep Purple Smoke on the Water. The Donnas take it off. Dragon Force through the fire and flames. No! They got the X's! But it's the, Hey You instead of hey, Ugly. Yeah, Hey You. Put Ugly on here, man! Extreme Play With Me. Foo Fighters Monkey Wrench. Friends Ferderland. Ferdinand? Fernando. Take Me Out. Heart. Heart Barracuda. Helmet. Helmet. Unsung Life. Incumbus, Stel Staller, Stellar, Stellar, In uh, Iron, Iron Maiden, Maiden, The Trooper, Jane's Addiction, Stop. Oh, you got time. Oh, Joan Shad and the Blackhearts. I love rock and roll. Sorry, Rhonda. <laughs> Sorry. Your, your, your song's not on here. <laughs> Sorry, Rhonda. Judas Priest, Electric Eye, Candace, Ca carry Kansas, on the Carry on the Wayward, Wayward song. song. Kiss, Rock and Roll All Night, Party Every Day. Lamb, Limb of God, Laid to Rest. Oh, there you go, Tommy. Oh, baby, CM Punk, Coach Personality. Leonard Keller. Leonard Skinner, Freebird. Molly Crew, Shout at the Devil. Nirvana, Heart Shaped Box. Ozzy Osbourne, Bark at the Moon. Pantera, Cowboys of from Hell, Live. Live. Pat Banatar, hit me with your best shot. Poison. Po poison, nothing but a good time. The police message in a bottle. Like that song? Oh yeah, send it down to SOS. Pressless Laydown, Queen, Killer Queen, Queen of the Stone Age, No One Knows, Rage Against the Machine, Round and Round. Reverend Holton Heat, Psycho Billy Freakout, Rush YYZ, Slayer, Running Blood, Aw man, Stone Temple Pilots, Trapping, Tripping on a Hole in a Paper Heart, The Sword, F Fria, Twisted Sister I Wanna Rock, Warwick Cherry Pie, Oh, there you go, Zo White Zombie, Thunder Kiss 65, Wolf Mother, woman. There, there's actually some decent songs on there. There's some pretty here. decent songs on there. You know what? I might pop this in just to give it a shot. Uh, now, you don't have to have the Wii remote. I mean, sorry, the, the actual uh, like Guitar Hero thing. It says, the Wii remote is required for the guitar controllers and the drums. But you don't really need it, I don't yeah. think. But uh, I might pop this in just to give it a shot. See if I like it. But I'll, pro I'll probably end up maybe reselling this because I don't really care too much for Guitar Hero, but that's what we picked up for the Wii. Alright guys, that's everything we picked up. PS3 bundle with a bunch of games. I'm sorry if this if this 
videos fucking forever, but we we had a lot of shit. We had a lot of shit we picked up this this go around for yard sales. We got the PS3 with the PS3 bundle. We got the DVDs. We got the Xbox One games. We got the TNA DVD, and then Tommy the big ass Wii bundle. Yeah, that I sold something when I bought the damn thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, according to eBay for the DVDs and price charting for the video games, Tommy. Seven hundred and thirteen dollars. Yeah, but we didn't pay seven hundred and thirteen dollars. I would never pay seven hundred and thirteen dollars. No, Spe especially for some yeah. of that stuff. <laughs> At yard sales, we paid a hundred and eighty-six dollars. One hundred eighty-six dollars. That's a total savings of five hundred and twenty-seven dollars. Now, we should mention that this is according to eBay and price charting, right? Yeah. This isn't realistic. Now, what you're saying is like, there's no way you guys are going to make like $500 on this stuff. You're correct. But see, at the end of the day, and this is what I care about is, I'm either going to collect stuff for free, or I'm going to collect stuff and make some money when I do yard sales. Yeah. Or I'm just going to collect and spend money on what I want. Yeah. Now, granted, the PS3 bundle, I'm keeping some controllers. I'm going to keep a few games. I'm going to sell the, the system with a controller and some games, and I might make around the same price I, sp I spent, like $130, right? I, even may, I may make even like $120, who cares? But it's only by a few dollars, yeah. right? So I'm going to make my money back on that, and I get to keep a few games and a few controllers. Tommy bought those DVDs for his collection. He's going to spend, he's going to, he's going to turn in those Xbox One games like I am. But the DVDs he bought for his collection. Yeah. The Christian Cage is was damn well worth it for a dollar. Yeah. Then the Wii Bundle. You're like, there's no way it's worth $344. It is according to price charting in, in, in eBay, but it's not realistic. I'm going to keep a few of the games. I'm going to keep... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep a few of the games. I'm going to keep maybe one of the... Maybe one of the controllers and the, the nunchucks, just so I can have extras. Because I find Wii bundles every yeah. once in a while, and I like to include at least two controllers. With yeah. Them. I'm going to keep a few games. I'm going to keep the big box of the of the Wii Sports Resort. And I'm going to sell the rest, right? And I may put up the price tag around $100 on it. I spent $40. Yeah. I'm going to make around 40 to $60 on this bundle. I'm going to easily double my money on this. Mm -hmm. you got to look at it that way. Now, am I going to make $500? No. And, th and, th and that's unrealistic. But I'm just telling you how much some this stuff is worth if you want to resell. Of course, we're not reselling on eBay or anything like yeah. that. I'm, I'm going to throw this up on Marketplace and make a little bit of money. Um, but that's how we do this. I'm going to collect for stuff for free, or I'm going to collect it for little cash. Right, Tommy? Yep. That's how we do it. But I just wanted to let you guys know that, because, you know, some of these, you know, it ain't like we're going to do 500 fucking dollars. Yeah. We're not going to get 500 fucking dollars out of this stuff. Uh, it may be worth $700, but I'm not going to sell it all for and get my money, but I, I'm, I'm at least going to make a little bit of money just doing some yard sales and make my money back and collect for no money down right so it was a good deal all around but I, I just wanted to classify that for you guys because yeah. some people may take it as like there's no way you're going to make this this amount of money I'm not or we're not uh, it's just at the end of the day that's how much you could make if you wanted to do like eBay or if you wanted to sell on Amazon or something which we don't do but at the end of the day, it's still a good deal. Yeah. So, hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to share it all over social media. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash WrestleRampage2. You can also follow us on Twitter at WrestleRampage. You can also follow us on Instagram, me and Tommy on Instagram. Also, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for more great videos coming to you guys. Because we are that cream that rises to the top. Cream of the crop, and nobody does it better. <laughs>